This is the second lecture in Module 2 on the normal distribution. This section is entitled Control Limits, Finding the Boundaries. Sit back and enjoy. I think this will be fun. We have a, a normal distribution curve. The mean was 20. The standard deviation was 2. So we're still into the same little diagram that we started with to help us understand it. Now, if we were to go look for areas underneath this curve, we might establish some boundaries and look between them. In this diagram, I have arbitrarily selected two boundaries. One of those boundaries is just above 16 and the other is just above 22. Perhaps I might be looking for the area between those two boundaries. The number that is just above 16 is called the lower bounds. And the number that is just above 22 is called the upper bounds. So if I'm looking for the area between these two bars, I'm looking for the area between the lower bounds and between the upper bounds. Now you've just learned some more nerdy terminology. We're looking for areas between a lower bounds and an upper bounds. We're almost ready to get after this stuff. Well, friends, welcome back to the doghouse. This is where the dog lives, his own little personal office, Egyptian artifacts and all. This section, you've looked at boundaries, upper bounds and lower bounds, and keep in mind all the things that you've learned. You now know what a normal distribution is. You understand that it is symmetrically uh, positioned around the mean, and it, the, the width of the scatter is determined by the standard deviation. Now you've looked at the idea of setting a lower bounds and an upper bounds to trap an area between those two boundaries. You've come far, Pilgrim, and done well to keep so much hair with so many after it.